The three inch bearing test, also referred to as the deload test, shall be performed in accordance with ASTM C497. The test verifies the proof of design for round, arch, and elliptical pipe. The test strengths are expressed in pounds per linear foot per foot diameter. Reinforced concrete pipe is designed to meet a specified 0.01 inch crack and ultimate loads in accordance with ASTM C76. At a minimum, one test for each size and class of pipe manufactured in a calendar year shall be performed to a 0.01 inch crack and to the ultimate load. In locations where there are more stringent requirements imposed by the owner or certification requirements such as QCAST, those requirements will govern. Set the required spacing for the lower bearing strips. The strips shall be parallel and spaced a distance apart of not more than one inch per foot of specimen diameter, but in no case less than one inch. Using a board to attach the lower bearing strips, only one board can be used. Multiple stacked boards are not allowed. The lower bearing strips should be continuous for the length of the lower beam. The intent is for the bearing strips to be straight and true. Lower bearing strips required dimensions are one inch height by two inches width with one half inch radius on the top inside edge. They can be wood or hard rubber. In most cases, rubber is used. The required hardness for the lower bearing rubber strips should be between 45 to 60 durometer. Exposing rubber to the elements is harmful and therefore the bearing strips should be protected from the elements. The upper beam should be a solid wood beam that is straight and true. Just one beam shall be used, not multiple timbers or boards. The upper bearing does not require a rubber strip. However, if a rubber strip is used, it must be attached to the upper beam. Rinker Materials recommends using top strips that are 4 inches to 6 inches wide for a better distribution when testing. The rubber strip should be between 45 to 60 durometer. Ensure the product is centered correctly on the center line of the lower and upper bearings. Any rate of load application up to a maximum of 7,500 pounds per linear foot of pipe per minute shall be used up to 75% of the specified design strength, at which time the rate of loading shall be reduced to a maximum uniform rate of one-third of the specified design strength of the pipe per minute. This rate of loading shall be continued until the specified acceptance design strength is reached. If both the design strength and the ultimate strength are being determined, a specified rate of loading need not be maintained after the acceptance design strength has been reached. The design strength is the maximum load expressed as a deload supported by the pipe before a crack having a width of 0.01 inch occurs as measured parallel to the longitudinal axis of the pipe barrel. The crack is 0.01 inch in width when the point of the measuring gauge will, without forcing, penetrate 1 16th at 3 inches maximum intervals throughout the specified distance of 1 foot. When calculating the required or actual deload, it is important that the proper L dimension manufactured length is used. Contact Corporate Engineering for any clarification required in determining the L dimension for the various joint and pipe conditions. Complete a deload testing form to determine the design load, ultimate load, length, and load rates. 